Hey folks, welcome to a beautiful day in uh, Mendocino County. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a video blog on the uh, Brinkman Smoke and Grill. I've been using this uh, smoker for roughly about a year now. And um, just wanted to see, being that I've seen a lot of other uh, people putting videos um, on uh, smoking on YouTube. Uh, only a few on the Smoke and Grill. Uh, they call it the El Cheapo Brinkman. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the mods I made on this one here. So you can pick this one up uh, at Home Depot for about 40 bucks or so, uh, depending where you go. Uh, it's a real cheap unit, but um, it actually does a fairly good job if you just do a couple of modifications to it. First off, I'm sure you've seen on the other video uh, blogs where people have talked about putting the legs out so that you can have easy access to the coals. Um, you know what, that is um, one of the uh, best ideas for this unit. Um, it's very nice to be able to uh, open it up, uh, just to uh, lift it out and then to add coals as needed. So uh, whoever came up with that idea, really good one, really smart one. Um, you'll notice here that um, I have cinder blocks, uh, having it elevated, keeping it level, um, works real well. Um, for the space here. Other modifications that I've made to the unit itself is when I got this at Home Depot, I also picked up some of these uh, uh, temperature gauges that you can buy. They're about eight bucks and they're right in the uh, barbecue section, the grills and stuff like that. And so um, the unit that I don't know why they give you this thing, it's horrible. Um, I'm sure enough people have complained about it. Everybody knows about the infamous uh, horrible temp temperature gauge that they have on this unit. So, uh, but I went ahead and picked up uh, one here for the uh, mid grate section and uh, put all you gotta do is just drill a hole it's got a little butterfly nut and you just put it in real simple it takes about two minutes to do then i put one up here as well um, again it's nice uh, this has the, the numbers on it keeps it real accurate i went ahead and uh, put uh, a damper on the top there don't really use it too much um, really haven't had to use it and uh, but uh, it's nice um, i just went ahead and just made it out of aluminum and uh, uh, drilled some holes so it works it does okay uh, it does fine so uh, the other modification that I did on this was with the charcoal pan they say to have it so you can lift it out instead of having it just elevated um, I bought one of these uh, canning uh, uh, I guess uh, just one of these little things you, you'd buy I got it at Walmart they, when you're canning you put your cans in there to boil them up and stuff like that and I thought oh, that'd be really great to use and so it works really well I drilled some holes in it to get some air through there went ahead and drilled some air holes through the side here just um, so it can draw air a lot of people have talked about one of the problems is getting the heat up on this and that um, sometimes the coals get smothered from the ash um, so I went ahead and drilled holes I also uh, put a grate in there I just bought some of this at the local hardware store just uh, did a uh, uh, nut on there just uh, like that works great I just used a Dremel to cut the circle out with a metal blade uh, composite blade for cutting metal works really well it, um, it uh, gets the ashes down but uh, one thing again is the ash still starts to accumulate down at the bottom and it will start to smother the fire so I've had a few extra holes I haven't uh, fired it up with the new holes in there yet so we'll see how it goes but uh, um, I'll go ahead and show you the, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, at this time uh, show you the, the meat that we're going to be cooking, we're doing a tri-tip today. And uh, we'll show you as the cooking goes on. Alright, so here's the uh, tri-tip we're going to be cooking here. Uh, just a regular old uh, tri-tip, nothing special, but went ahead and just going to do a dry rub. And I picked this one up at the uh, 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 Rayleigh's uh, in town. And uh, we're going to give this one a try. If they have another one, it's like a... Texas barbecue. That one is really well, but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to try this one today and see how it turns out. All right, the starting to smoke a little bit here, so I'm going to be putting on the meat here uh, pretty quick. Just one more thing I wanted to address was that I went ahead and also uh, got these. Uh, I guess they're kind of like uh, uh, stones for uh, decorating your backyard, you know, landscaping that kind of stuff. And those are work real well for if the heat gets too hot initially. Um, I can. Uh, bring the unit up above from the fire a little bit and that actually does um, help uh, cool it down if it gets a little too hot. So right now you can see uh, temperature wise we're right at about where we need to be. We're at about 225 between 225 250 and uh, same thing as above here we're looking at about the same thing. So for those of you that don't have the dial those on there just to let you know somewhere around right in the L um, on, the, on this uh, crappy uh, uh, temperature dial somewhere in there is where you want to be for for cooking so um, anyway um, as the smoke uh, starts to come out it's a little windy so it's kind of taking the uh, smoke and pushing it away but we'll go ahead and uh, get the tri-tip on there all 
All right, we are smoking now, and I just went ahead and just, just right now put the tri-tip on. So I'm gonna close that back up, and uh, got the, uh, the wood chips going in there. I'm using uh, the chunks this time. Usually I'd use the uh, chips, but they were clearancing these out at uh, Rayleigh's, so I picked this up for uh, Mesquite. Got about three, four bags of them. Um, uh, there's a lot of discrepancy. Some people say go with chunks. Some people say go with the uh, the chips. Um, I think both are fine. Um, I do know that the the best smoke results that I've had have been with the uh, the chips. And if you smoke um, if you soak them overnight, and then uh, you wrap them uh, in just tin foil and throw them in there like about a about a fistful, and uh, throw it and just wrap it up and then just put it in there. It takes about 10-15 minutes and it'll start smoking, but it really starts smoking for a long time. And I'll have about, uh, just about a couple handfuls. I'll do one at a time. And uh, when one starts to taper off with smoke, I'll put a new one in there. And uh, they work fairly well, but uh, the chunks work fine too. So whatever you have in there, I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, if you're ever uh, on the internet looking for uh, some good info on smoking, uh, the person I recommend is JB. I've been watching his films uh, rather religiously, and he has a lot of really good ideas um, and uh, really give, gives it to you the plain truth. He he doesn't really care for this smoker that much, but uh, we, you know when you only have uh, you know a, a budget that uh, you can only spend so much, this one actually works fairly well. So if you get a chance, check out JB. He's got one on smoking tips. I believe it's called Smoking Tips 101. It's a really really good video. It gives a lot of good info on there. So I highly recommend it. So. And then he also recommend as well uh, using instead of putting water in the uh, water dish using the uh, um, uh, briquettes and so I've done that as well and uh, it works fine and just make sure that you put the uh, tin foil over the top of it so you're not getting all the uh, the gristle and fat and accumulation of it on the uh, briquettes that you can just throw it away and work well so other than that uh, we'll uh, continue this video in a couple of hours when we're gonna put some uh, corn and some uh, f fresh green beans on there all right, five hours later, and the tri-tip is uh, done. Letting it rest for 15 minutes. That is key to getting it so that you see I can cut it, and there's a little juice um, going around anywhere. Uh, if you cut it right after you get off the, the smoker, it's gonna, you're going to lose a lot of the juice. So um, you can see there's the uh, smoke ring on there, real nice. Uh, did a real nice job on there. And also uh, smoked some corn on there and some uh, green beans with red potatoes and onions. A little seasoning salt, a little bit of uh, bacon grease in there as well. But uh, as you can see, the Brinkman, uh, uh, El Cheapo Brinkman smoker does a j fine job. Just uh, go ahead and make a few adjustments, put the uh, um, extra thermometer gauges on there, and uh, maybe just do a couple of the suggestions I said, and you'll get uh, perfect results. There you go.